All right, let's say we dive in with another reading from The Secret Language of Birthdays book by Gary Goldschneider and Eust Elfers for June 17th, the day of artful force. And here we have a picture of a stylized wooden snowflake with some of those fleur de lis on the ends of it. I don't know if that's artful force, but I guess they forced it into something, right? Hey, is it June 17th and it's your birthday today? Well, if it is, I just want to extend you a heartfelt happy birthday. And if this video finds you long after your birthday has passed, well, I hope you had a happy birthday. But for everyone else joining us out of curiosity, I want to say welcome, and I hope you enjoy yourself. So let's dive in. Your month is June, your day the 17th, your sign is 25 to 27 degrees Gemini, and your period is Gemini 3, with the quality and elements of mutable air. June 17th, the day of artful force. June 17th people take what they do seriously. No matter how relaxed or comfortable they may appear to others, they are intent on reaching their goals and being responsible family members and friends. They can give the impression of having their life pretty well figured out. But unfortunately, while the demands they place on themselves are high, they are also likely to lay a heavy burden on those close to them. If they have outright followers or employees, they can be extremely moral, stern, and demanding of obedience to their wishes. June 17 people are facile in thought and action, and consequently somewhat impatient with those who work with them. Normally, those born on this day are not good teachers and lack the necessary patience and understanding to explain to the apprentice or student. It is even more difficult for June 17 people to stand idly by while a job is bungled. In the bat of an eye, they have probably already done it by themselves. And those born on this day can be extremely persuasive in their arguments. They are also adept at applying pressure, whether sensual or forceful, in getting others to do their bidding. Highly talented or successful June 17 people tend to be influential in their area of endeavor, even if they have retired from the fray. Usually a strong physical as well as mental presence is characteristic of those born on this day. Emotional and intuitive capacities can be somewhat lacking, however, and June 17 people may be hard, perhaps nearly impossible to reach on a deep feeling level. Many born on this day are alternately mistrusting and impulsive, and because they so easily exchange a mature, responsible attitude for a petulant, childish one, usually when they don't get their way, they promote mistrust. June 17 people make fine planners, designers, and travelers, as most have an innate sense of direction and understanding of spatial realities. In rare cases, they are so advanced in this area, their methods so unique that they may sometimes seem to lack sense for not going the easy route. Usually their logic becomes clear to others after such methods have proven correct. June 17 people have been known to stretch a story a bit, even to tell some mighty tall tales in order to get their way. In addition, some born on this day get a real kick out of deceiving others. This may be harmless play, but like any game, must be kept light and under control. Those born on June 17th should avoid gambling, though they may be clever, highly adept players, they are still vulnerable to loss and being drawn into unscrupulous activities. Indeed, less highly evolved June 17 people make excellent con artists. Whether their moral character, however, uh, whatever their moral character, however, rather, those born on this day seem to have no trouble attracting followers to their cause, whether public or private. All right, let's move on to your numbers and your planets. That seemed a little bit negative, so let's hope it picks up a little bit here. I don't know. Let's see. Those born on the 17th of the month are ruled by the number 8 as 1 plus 7 equals 8, and by the planet Saturn. Saturn carries a serious aspect, and combined with Mercury, Gemini's ruler, augments the severe and harshly critical tendencies of June 17 people. The number eight holds a conflict between the material and spiritual worlds. Thus, those ruled by this number are often lonely and prone to indulging in excess. 
Boy, that one didn't seem much better. Let's move on to the tarot, see if it picks it back up. All right. The 17th card of the Major Arcana is the star, which shows a beautiful naked girl under the stars pouring refreshing water on the parched earth with one pitcher and reviving the stagnant water of a pond with another. She represents the glories of the earthly life, uh, but also material enslavement to it. The stars above her are an eternal reminder of the presence of the spatial, spiritual world. rather. In like manner, June 17, people should avoid overemphasis on physicality and keep in mind the higher goals of life, such as cultivating kindness toward others. Here is your health. Due to their physical and sensuous nature, June 17th people must guard against addictions of all sorts, whether to alcohol, unhealthy food, tobacco, or anything else that brings pleasure, even relationships and sex. Those born on this day must cultivate willpower, which may be firm when commanding others or pursuing goals, but weak or non-existent when controlling personal desires. The problem is often that June 17 people don't fully grasp how serious such addictions are for their physical and mental health, or they just don't care. The stabilizing influences of a regular diet and moderate exercise go a long way in reducing such cravings. As many now believe addictions are not only a cause, but a result of chemical imbalances. Here is your advice. Try to leave others to their own devices. You don't have to convince them all the time. Beware of being unscrupulous. Guard the truth, not illusion. And don't use others so readily for your purposes. And here is your meditation. Respect those you meet on the way. Oh, your strengths and your weaknesses. Your strengths, your persuasive, your physical, and you are spatially aware. Your weaknesses, unapproachable, indulgent, and impatient. Let's move on to those born on this day. I wonder if that'll speak to uh, what this has been previously said about June 17 people. None of it seems positive. <laughs> Let's see here. We have John Wesley, British religious reformer of the Methodist Church uh, founder. Igor Stravinsky, a British-born innovative modern composer, ballet of Rite of Spring, and provoked riot in 1913, Paris premiere. We have James Brown, the soul singer-songwriter, entertainer, and the godfather of soul. We have M.C. Uh, Eusher, a Dutch modern graphic artist. Gwendolyn Brooks, African-American Pulitzer Prize-winning poet. We also have Anastasia, she was a uh, Grand Duchess of Russia and a daughter of Nicholas II. Historical controversy as to her murder in the Russian Revolution. We have Charles Gounod, who was a French composer. Barry Manilow, singer-songwriter. Dean Martin, movie actor, singer, and entertainer. Eddie Merricks, a legendary Belgian bike racer and multiple Tour de France winner. We have Elroy Crazy Legs Hirsch, who's a Los Angeles Rams football receiver and a league leader, Hall of Famer. We also have Andre Durain, who's a uh, French fauve abstract painter and sculptor. Joe Piscopo, a comedian and film actor. We have Peggy Seeger, a folk singer of The Weavers. Ralph Bellamy, a stage TV film actor. Kingman Brewster, Yale University president and U.S. ambassador to Great Britain. Nicola Tresardi, an Italian fashion designer. Newton Gingrich, a U.S. congressman of Georgia. John Hershey, novelist of The Wall. And Alfred Knopf Jr., who is a New York publisher. Once your season is spring, and you're, once again, your sign is Gemini of the Gemini 3 period specifically, and your quality and elements is mutable air. And this has been June 17th, the day of artful force from the secret language birthdays book um i don't know this one was kind of good <laughs> what to say but they can't all be positive i guess but hey hopefully this doesn't speak to you at all uh if, and if, even if you're a june 17th person sometimes these things can be up in the air who's to say but hey I don't, i'm not responsible for writing this so whatever i'm just reading it in any event, if it was your birthday today, I hope you had a happy birthday. I have an affiliate link down in the description for this book. 
if you're a June 17er, you probably don't want to buy it. But hey, click through the link. Give me some support for the channel. You don't have to buy the book, but you do your shopping through there. You support the channel. And we can uh, read some other uh, birthdays for other folks, the ones that joined in randomly and who may want to hear their birthday in any event. Uh, I hope you enjoyed yourself one way or the other. Um, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you on the next one.